it's me Christina and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a dun, 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 it's gonna be a what's in my makeup bag video um so yeah I thought it would be fun to just kind of show you guys what makeup I have and everything like that so let's buckle in because I know for a fact this will be a very long video so let's just jump right into it okay so i guess i'll start off with where i keep my makeup like i showed you guys in the intro this is the bag i keep my makeup in it's very small it's not big at all i think i got it from walgreens last year or sometime like that um yeah so it's just a regular little bag it got a strap right here or a little handle i should say and it has a zipper in the front I don't have nothing in the front zipper, so we're just going to jump right into the big zipper. So when you open it, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Stuff falling out already. Um, Warning. Warning. Boop, boop, boop. Warning. I do have a lot of lip products, so majority of this video will probably just be lip products. I'm sorry if that annoys you. You can click out now. But yeah, I wanted to just throw that in there. Warning. Warning, warning. I do have a lot of lip products and that is majority of this bag. So I guess I'll start off with the three items that fell out. First, I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. It is the mini one. I got it from sephora it came in a little box with this and the prep and prime that's in here somewhere but they just came in there together then i have okay so i have the urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in perversion let's see if you can see that perversion the cap came off that's what i was looking for i was like where's the cap the cap came off, but it's in there somewhere. Next, I have a mini sample of the Makeup Forever lipstick. I don't know what... I don't know what color it's in, but that's what it looks like. So, I'll put it over here so you can see. So, that's that color. And then, I got this. This was actually my mom's. She got it as a birthday gift, but she don't wear makeup, so she gave it to me. But obviously, this box, and with as full as this is, it won't fit. But this is just a Bite Beauty thing. So, it's just a mini sample of their Agave Lip Balm and Sugar Lip Scrub. Like that. And then, I have their Bite Beauty Lip Crayon in Gla Glace. That's a really, really pretty color. And then I have their lipstick in Chai. So there's that. Thought I'd show you guys that. So there is that. Moving on. Another lipstick. I have a CoverGirl lipstick in Yummy Pink 380. It's just a really, really cute light pink. I have a LA Colors matte lipstick in this pretty nude color. My best friend bought these for me for Christmas. So, yeah, that's what that color looks like. It's really, really pretty and nude. Next, I have a Lancome Excessive Black Mascara. It's a mini size. I got it from Sephora. I'm not about to open that. Yeah, well... Okay, that's what the wand looks like, in case y'all were wondering. I got that. I have a whole bunch of these little lip liners. I'm going to try to grab them all beforehand, but if not, okay. So I have these three True Lips lip liners. They came in a pack of, I think, 12 or 24, and I bought them on Wish. They were relatively cheap. So this is number 050. This one is 053. And this is 054. So I guess I'll swatch 
go to y'all this way. I tried writing the numbers, but didn't realize it was going to be upside down. But either way, so this is 53. That's the 50, and that's that's the 54. It's upside down, I know. But they're all little nude colors. This is just a jumbo eye pencil I got from Family Dollar. It's from LA Colors. It's a white. It works pretty well. I have a Sephora lip gloss in bubblegum. I have the Urban Decay Quickie Fix Prep and Prime Spray. So these came in a little travel size box from Sephora. I have a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Zerch. I think that's how you say that. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I got that. I have the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Eye Primer. I normally use the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the purple bottle, but I didn't feel like spending that much on it, so I bought this one. I guess it does the same. I don't know. I have my Dirty Real Techniques Sponge. I have this random mascara brush. These brushes my mom actually bought for me from Wish for Christmas. And they're just these black brushes with like the rose gold handle. This does say it is a mascara brush. I do like to use these for mascara for when I put mascara on just about when it's almost dry. I guess you can say I just kind of brush this on my eyelashes to separate them. I have the NYX Butter Lipstick in Fun Size Mini. I guess that's the kind of, I don't know. That's what it looks like. Really pretty, pretty just nude lip, nude lipstick. I have my Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. This is the prettiest lip gloss. I like it because it has a huge diamond on the top. Cutest little lip gloss. Got it from Sephora. This is just a Femi Couture, the Glossies Super Juicies Lip Gloss in Diamond Dust. I got this from Sally's. It's just pure glitter, like silver glitter chunks. I have another Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner, but this is the Waterline Eye Pencil in Walk of Shame. It gotta get sharpened, but if you see that, it's just like a nudie color this is the color on the package right there it's just like a nude i have the kiss professional new york look lux luxury intense eyeliner it's retractable and it's in blackest black this eyeliner i really really like as you can see that's all i have left this eyeliner i'm not picky with eyeliners but i do like that one Next, I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Pro Glow Concealer in 01 Classic Ivory. 01 Classic Ivory. This looks really dark for me. I'm not the darkest person. Like I'm I'm real pale kind of. Not really. What am I talking about? Anyway, I got this from Walgreens. I don't use it because I don't wear concealer. Next, I have a mini Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I have a Ruby Kisses Matte Lip Lacquer in Merge. This is a really pretty color. I got this from like a beauty supply store. It is the softest and the prettiest color. It's right there. Such a pretty color. I like it. I have a Katie Cat Matte. It's the Katy Perry and CoverGirl collection in Pink Paws. This is a pretty color as well. I got this one because I was trying to find... Uh, I was trying to find this same color, the Yummy Pink from CoverGirl, and I couldn't find it. So I was like, this should be close enough to it. And the bottom kind of shows the color. This one's a little bit more of a baby pink. But on camera, you probably, they look the same. But there's that. I have, I think I only have these two. Two e.l.f. shimmer glosses. These were gifted to me. So I have a pink with gold glitter and then just a nude one. This one is my favorite. I told y'all, a lot of lip products. I'm sorry. This is a Victoria's Secret Satin Gloss in Candy Baby. I got this specific color because I seen it on Pinterest and it looked so pretty. I never used it yet. Never used it. 
I have a mini Sephora gel gloss ultra brilliant ultra shine lip gel in pinup pink. I, I think someone gave this to me. I don't even remember. Someone might have gave it to me. It might have been a mini gift from Sephora. I don't know. That's what it is right there. That's the color. Never wore it. I have my Tarte Lip Facial Exfoliating Lipstick. It works, I guess. I don't know. I got it. I got a Bliss Kiss Simply Kissed Moisturizing Lip Balm. This is all natural. All the ingredients are natural. Organic coconut oil, Jehovah Wax Ester, Beeswax, and pharmaceutical grade lan lanolin and vitamin E. But yeah, so that's this one. I'm actually going to put some on because my lips are chapped. So, excuse me. Oh. Oh. I guess it was melting. Is that as low as it goes? Oh, it's stuck. Y'all, <laughs> my life. I got the chapstick. Okay, let me just put that up. But y'all seen that though, right? The chaps, they got stuck and wouldn't go down. I have another eyeliner. This is from Shane. No, it's from Scone Cosmetics. It's their Pretty Eyes Automatic Eyeliner. This is a pretty, pretty purple. You can't see that. It's okay. I'll swatch it. It's a pretty, pretty purple. I never used this eyeliner. I think my mom gave it to me. Not too sure. But that's it right there. It's a pretty purple. I might have to try it one day. Because I got brown eyes. And supposedly purple looks good on brown eyes. So I'll have to try it. Next, I have the Maybelline New York Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. Okay, I tried this before. I don't like the feeling of it. It feels thick and like silicone-y. I guess that's the word beauty gurus use for it, but I just don't like the feeling of it. It feels funny on my skin, so I haven't used it since. I just don't like the feeling, and I really don't feel like I have that big of pores. So I got it because I wanted to try it. Next, I have the Too Faced Mascara Melt Off Cleansing Oil Waterproof Mascara Dissolver. So this and, where's it at? These two right here came in a little kit at Sephora. They came in a box, actually. A box kit, I guess you could say. Either way, y'all, they came in a kit. Good gracious. These two came in a kit at Sephora, and I bought it. This little thing is supposed to help take off any waterproof mascara. I didn't know this was waterproof. It doesn't say this one's waterproof, so I don't know why they'd put a waterproof mascara dissolver and a thing with okay either way there's that next oh this is an avon lipstick i've had this forever in sand gold this is such a pretty pretty color whenever i would wear this i would wear this lipstick and i would put where is it at where is it at i'd use this lipstick and put this elf gloss on top of it so that's it right there. I don't know if you can see it. It is like a goldy color, but I put this and this lip gloss on top. It was the cutest little combination. I thought I was doing something. I have a mini Lash Craft Length and Volume Sephora Mascara in black. It's just a mini sample. I have the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in Fenty Glow. This was the first one, like the very first one she came out with when she came out with her makeup line. I don't even wear it. I got it because it actually looks pretty when I tried it on, but I don't wear it. I need to start wearing it again because it is very pretty. And then I have another Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. So I have two, but I need to find the top for this one so that was it for all the found the top that was it for all the eyeliner mascara all of that so now we're gonna get into more face products so i just have the cody airspun loose face powder got that 
I got the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. This is actually really, really pretty. I have an LA Cool. About drop my bag, y'all. I have the LA Colors Eyeshadow Palette in Chic. Probably can't see that. But it is just all pretty, pretty shimmery colors. They're not the best, but they work for what I do because I don't do nothing dramatic on my eyeballs. Next, I have the Maybelline New York Master Bronze Bronze and Highlight Kit. I forgot what shade I got this in because I know they have like different, different shades. But that's what this one looks like. I don't wear foundation, by the way. I just don't like it. My face is not that bad to where I feel like I have to put a whole bunch of foundation on my face. So majority of the time, if I do feel like wearing contour, if I just do feel like wearing like the whole makeup deal, I'll just really do contour that you can barely see, highlight. I love eyeshadow, eyes is like, I love that. So I'll do that and maybe lip gloss and that's it. So there's no foundation in here at all. This is the Ultimate Face Professional Pro Art V6 Shadow Collection. This, I don't know. I got this when I was in cosmetology school. We always use Ultimate Face. So that's what it looks like. And these are just all bright colors. Like every color of the rainbow. They are very, very pretty. And very, very, very pigmented colors. Like I'll just do... Boop. Look at that. Ready? Boop. The orange. Ready? Boop. The yellow. I'll do the blue next. Boop. The blue. And I guess I'll do this color right here, that one. So, boop. So, that's all the colors. As you see, like I said, they do have good pigment to them. Um, I don't have nothing to wipe this on. Give me uno momento, por favor. I'm back. Did you miss me? I hope so. If not, it's okay. Um... But yeah, I had to get something to wipe the colorful eyeshadow off so I don't get it on my white shirt. Okay. But yeah, so I got this when I was in cosmetology school. We had like a whole little makeup kit. I don't have half the stuff no more. But I did keep this because as you saw, they are very, very nice colors. They're very soft. And this saved me from going out and buying an eyeshadow palette full of colors when I have that one. And then... My second eyeshadow palette is the Tartlet Toasted Palette by Tarte. I seen this in Sephora at the display, and I was like, I want it so bad. Because I really only wear neutrals, and this spoke to me. So there's the colors right here. These are such pretty, pretty, pretty colors. I really like them. They work well. They get the job done. This is probably the... Dropped it. Uh, but this is probably the most expensive eyeshadow palette I bought. It's the only eyeshadow palette I ever bought from Sephora. So I'm pretty sure it is. And I like it. It's, such pre it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So there's that. Last item. I lied. I have a random Real Techniques fine liner brush. Which I don't know why. Because I don't do gel eyeliner. But Okay. And then the last thing in here you guys it's just the eyebrow kit i got from walgreens so my bag's empty so yeah guys that what did i get no i thought i got eyeshadow from my finger on my eyebrow y'all but yeah so that so that was everything in my makeup bag it is completely empty um thank you guys for watching thank you guys for watching i can't say that enough Thank you 
for doing what I just said twice already. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Leave comments down below of any video ideas, any new video ideas you'd like me to do. And yeah, I had a slow moment. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!